I do not think that the Christian God exists. In fact, I would hold to the idea that it is nearby impossible for the Christian God to exist. So if you disagree with me, make sure to hop in those guest requests literally right now. But for everyone coming in, y'all, double tap on that phone screen. Let's get up to 10,000 likes so quick and easy. My dear God, double tap on that phone screen. Share out that live with a couple of friends. And one last thing. Jillian, I appreciate you for the subscription. One last thing. Let me know how you feel about this topic. Let's get a smiley face in that comment section if you like the topic, a sad face if you don't. Uh, but without further ado, let's go ahead and of the night. Let's just go ahead and give them a moment to load in here. Uh, let's just, hey, how we doing? Do you think that the Christian God is real? No, but I just want to say hi because I had a chance to say hi to you, man. Good luck tonight. I appreciate you. Yo, W guest, W guest, I appreciate you for coming up here and showing some love. We're going to go to move on to our next guest. For everyone coming in, welcome in, guys. Make sure that we're double tapping. Hey, what's going on? Do you think that the Christian God is real? Uh, I believe if you are a believer in the Christian God, it's real. Um, okay, are you a believer? Uh, yes, I believe in God. All right, so yeah, why do you think that the Christian God exists? Um, I'm not a believer, I would say, in a uh, Christian God or a Muslim God. I'm a believer in God, a creator. Okay, so are you are you a Christian or not a Christian, sir? <clears throat> I don't identify as a... All right, we're going to go to move on to our next guest here, chat. We're just looking to talk to people that think the Christian God exists. Let's go and get that loony bin out of here, right? Let's go to move on to our next guest. What's up? Do you think that the Christian God exists? <laughs> Okay, they're just fucking watching Nickelodeon. Uh, everyone coming up in here, y'all, make sure to say what's good in that chat. We're just still looking for our first debate. We just got to give it a moment here, guys. Uh, what's uh, going on, man? Do you think that the Christian God is real? Yeah. Okay, how old are you? Uh, 18. Uh, yeah, what year are you born in? Uh, 2005. All right, man. So, yeah, why do you think that the Christian God is real? Um, I talk to him all the time. I was just on the phone with him like a couple hours ago. Uh, okay, are you, are you being serious or are you joking? Yeah, I'm being serious. Okay, what's the relevant distinction between you and your relationship with the Christian God and my quite fucking insane friend's relationship with a demon in the corner of his room when he's asleep? Well, I actually have relationships with both, but um, don't hang up on me. Okay, he's obviously trolling, bro. He's obviously trolling. We're going to go to move on to our next guest. We may need to hit a little bit of a restart here, but we're going to attach you. I'm going to attach you. All right, guys, we're just not off to a good start today. If you guys think that the Christian God is real, hop in those guest requests. Hey, what's going on? Do you think that the Christian Yo. God is real? Yo, what's up? Hey, man, do you think that the Christian, that the Christian God exists? Oh, yeah, I do. All right, why so? Uh, I also think you need to come up with a different debate. Okay, um, I don't really care about that part. So why do you think that the Christian God exists? Why don't you come up with a different debate, though? Uh, because I like debating about the existence of the Christian God because I don't think that uh, it's it's rational. I don't think it's a rational belief. I think it's easily disproven. Um, but, I mean, can we go ahead and look at the, some of the reason why you think uh, the Christian God is real? No, I just need you to come up with a different debate. I mean, does it just piss you off that I'm shitting on your entire worldview? No, I just need you to come up with a different debate. Why so? Because you just do the same shit every single day. You need No, I don't. No, no, I, I talk to people about why they think abortion is wrong, because I'm pro-choice. No, I talk to people about why they think being non-hetero is wrong, because I'm uh, pro-LGBTQ+. No, no, no. I'm trying I, to I, 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 I talk, I talk to people to to talk I, I talk to people about why they think men are superior to women, right, because I'm anti-misogyny. Um, talk about, like, AR-15s or something, you know what I'm saying? Like, why okay, they... so are, are you up here to tell me why you think the Christian God exists, or are, bro, are you up here to waste my time? Bro, I'm managing you. You need help. In order to be a manager, in order to give me help, you need at least five figures in your bank account, a million followers, a million followers across all of your socials, and at least one celebrity in your contacts. I'm guessing you don't meet any of those criteria, so I'm gonna go to move on to the next guest here. Wah, wah. Okay, that's a joke. That's a joke, guys. That's it. That's it. That's it. That was a joke. That was a joke. All right, what's going on, man? Do you think that the Christian God is real? I think that his penis is real. Dear God, Andrew, you are one deluded, sick son of a bitch. Ah, oh, he knows it too. He left. All right, well, let's go to move on to our next guest. Everyone, just give us a moment here. We're just waiting to get our first debate going. So, hey, what's going on? Do you think that the Christian God is real? Yeah, if you believe in him. Do you? Uh, I believe in God. Okay, do you think that Jesus is God? I believe that Jesus was a man who had the full capabilities of what a human being is and could be. I'm asking you if you're a follower of Christ, sir. Yeah, I believe in Jesus Christ. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, why do you think that Jesus Christ is God? Why do you think that the Christian God is real? 
I didn't never said I believe that Jesus Christ is God. Okay, so we're just gonna go to move on. That was the same Looney Ben. I forgot, guys. We are really having a little bit of a rough time. Just give us a moment. Also, y'all, I just posted my response to Theus Brooks. Everyone, go like that video, share it with a couple of friends, repost it, and spam the comment section so we could get it to blow up. Anyways, what's going on, man? How do you? Hi, Dean. I'm 27. Nice, man. Do you think that the Christian God is real? Yeah, I think so. All right, why so? Um, I don't know. I I feel uh, it. it the whole concept behind it motivates me to be a better person and uh, um, to think differently and do do differently in the ways that I used to. Yeah, but that doesn't like <laughs> necessitate that it actually exists. I mean, the concept of like the Islamic God assures how mo uh, motivates a lot of Muslims, and like you'd recognize that as true. But meanwhile, you'd also recognize that the Islamic God doesn't exist, and Islam is not true nor correct. This is essentially I what I'd say about the Christian God. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. You still go ahead. That's all I had to say. I mean, can we agree that, like, uh, Islam would motivate Muslims to be better people? But meanwhile, we would both agree that Islam is false? Um, I can't agree with that. I don't know enough about Islam to, to, to make that claim. You do. Uh, since you're a Christian, you're committed to that claim. They claim that Jesus uh, I'm not is a not the son of God. I'm not what I would call, a, like, a Catholic or anything. I just – I think that the higher power behind – um, all really, all faith is, uh, it's, it's relatively the same, I think. And, and it is, Hey, are you a follower of Christ? Do you think that Jesus Christ is the son of God? Uh, yeah, yeah. I have a picture of Jesus up in my room and, and like when I look at him in that picture, okay. it makes me feel better and do better things. In, in so you're, world. so you're a Christian, right? Yeah. So because you're a Christian, you're committed to the belief that Islam is false because Islam specifically says that Jesus Christ is not the son of God. Um, yeah, well, whatever it is to, you know, people can say or think whatever they want to believe. I just believe that. Um, if I'm able to like literally look at something and feel better about my life, for the paper so, I think that's okay. I think that's okay. Right. Well, you're missing the, you're missing the point here. So I'm like showing you how you're committed to the belief that Islam is false. Uh, but I bet you would also recognize that Islam would motivate Muslims to be, uh, to be better people. Right. Oh, that could be it. Like I said, I don't, I don't know. Dude, right. I so therefore, when you say that like Christianity motivates you to be a better person, this doesn't mean that Christianity is true or Jesus is actually the son of God doesn't mean that it's true to you, but it might be true to me. Um, That's why well, it's an individual. Faith is a very individual uh, concept. It's not at all. Uh, like people like to just throw blanket statements. Oh, you can't do this or you can't have abortions and all this, man. That's such a toxic way of going about wait, that. Wait, 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 wait. Did you say that you look at a picture of Jesus and you feel good? Heck yeah, man. It, it, it provides me with all kinds of like, inter in, like internal hope. and, and uh, Wait, wait. And this, and this is supposed to mean that the Christian God exists? Well, it it means that in my world, yeah, it does. It certainly does. Wait, I'm so sorry. It is you're right. Plus, you know, you wait, don't gotta apologize. So, buddy. so two plus two equals four in your world, as well as my world and everyone else's world, because right, it's objectively okay. true. But you'd also say that the existence of the Christian God is objectively true, right? Uh, in my world, I I believe 100. percent I believe in it, man. In my world, that the God is that God is real to me. Okay, so yeah, why do you think that the God is real? What's the evidence? Um, I, I would probably assume there would be no evidence I could bring forward to the table that would that would steer you in any way. I just know that it's real. It's real in my world, and if it, if it makes me be a better person, I mean, who who could you who would you be to deny me that or deny anyone? How am I getting better? flagged for harassment and bullying? Am I harassing you, sir? Nope, not harassing me. Okay, well, TikTok thinks I am. Um, do, we, do we need to back out? I just want to, you know, I've 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 been in a couple of your lives, and I just appreciate you. Uh, sharing okay. your views and stuff and yeah i appreciate you for coming up here man i'm just gonna go to move on to the next guest um so it's gonna get eh, to sheikah's up here let's go to pull her up uh we're gonna go to move on to our next guest here y'all everyone just oh, give okay. us a moment how we doing i'm doing all right i don't know why you keep getting flagged yeah i don't know either hey what's going on do you think that the christian god is real oh uh, yes yeah how old are you 18 all right so why do you think that the christian god is real sir well i've done research and i've been given sources to the ontological argument and the uh, order two? Of the cosmos. Yeah, so could you like give me the argument for why you think the Christian God is real? Well, I'm um, looking at it on my like, uh, computer right now and uh, well, if I could just like squeeze it into one small sentence is design just requires a designer. Uh, free thinking, I appreciate you for that, a mustache. Design uh, requires a, a designer. So first of all, you're presupposing that like we live in creation or we live in design. And I wouldn't necessarily like say that that's true. Um, like for instance, do you think that like, uh, like God is in intricately ordered and designed? Uh, no. Oh wait, uh, so if God's not designed, how come we are designed? 
Because he created us. Yeah, how do you know he created us? <laughs> That's a good question. I don't well, think you've done enough research on your own, the I mean, sources that you've gotten here. Yeah, I mean, we're here, it just kind of tells me that there's a creator. How so? Like, could you, like, yeah, so you're saying we exist and this somehow necessitates the existence of the Christian God. Uh, so that's a claim. Could you give me, like, any reason or evidence to believe this claim to be true? Well, I mean, I don't know, just the way we're all designed. <laughs> okay, yeah, so how does the way in which our biological uh, systems function or are designed, like, uh, necessitate the existence of the Christian God? Once again, another claim. I mean, I don't know. When someone asks me that, I usually go to the, um, on how the universe is made and stuff it's like uh, people think it's the big bang theory and i usually try to help them understand but dude i'm not sure okay uh, so i mean if you'd refute the big bang theory i'd just say that you're rational for doing so like we we know that the big bang uh, theory is, is true because we can observe it like all the big bang theory really talks about is the expansion of the universe and we still observe the expansion of the universe this is why we see galaxies moving away from us because space time is literally expanding then we could also see like uh the cmbr right which are left over light which is left over light from the rapid expansion of the big bang right so many billions of years ago that we can observe right so we know that it's true yeah right uh, but then on top of that like if you're holding to christianity i just want to run you through one problem do you think that ethnic cleansing is always wrong hold on give me a second what for can you uh, tell me what that means been... yeah so ethnic cleansing is the killing or eradication or, errati or eradication of a group of individuals dependent upon their ethnicity and also uh fan Hello, Than. Thanks for sharing my live. Go ahead, sir. Well, um, the reason for all that killing is obviously because of free will. No. Um, wait, that's not. That's literally not what I asked at all. I just asked you if you think ethnic cleansing is always wrong. I mean, I think it's wrong. Just killing is wrong. Okay, so you'd say it's always wrong. So, in one Samuel fifteen three, where God commands ethnic cleansing, you think God did something wrong? I mean. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait. What? Okay, so you think God did something wrong. So you're not a fucking Christian so, yeah. because you don't think God is all good because God did something wrong. Yo, so WD, fastest dude, concession I've ever seen in my life. I'm gonna have to go fucking look that up, man. <laughs> Alright, man. Was well, there anything else, like, specific that you wanted to go over here today? Um, why don't you believe that God is real? Um, well, because I, I would the also argument that he just agree. gave you. Yeah, 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 <laughs> like, yeah. I think we both agree that, you know, God would be doing something wrong by commanding ethnic cleansing, which means God wouldn't be all good on a very simplistic level. So it seems like we'd both agree on that. But I appreciate you for coming up here, man. All right. Have a good day. Yeah, you as well. Uh, we're going to go to move on to our next guest. Uh, Tashika, how's your day been? Um, <laughs> it's, it's been, it's been a day. It's been a day for sure. What's up, uh, B? I'm not going to say your full name. Uh, do you think no, it's, Christian... it's just my nickname. <laughs> okay, wow. Do you think that the Christian God is real? No. So, obviously, Girl. I just wanted to say to everyone... Yeah. We're just going to go ahead and kick him and move on to the next guest. For everyone in here, y'all, I posted a response <clears throat> to Theus Brooks. Everyone, go to my TikTok account, like my recent video, share it out with a couple friends, comment on it as well. Uh, the, the 2v2 is official. Uh, what's going on, JC? Do you think that the Christian God is real? I do. Okay, yeah, can you like go into a different room and like calm down the background music? Is it too loud? It is. Give me one sec. For a couple of minutes. Okay. I was, okay. I'm so sorry, we're yeah, just, just gonna move on. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, everyone coming up in here, guys. Make sure that we're double tapping on that on that phone screen. Let's try to get to 100k likes. Everyone, start double tapping literally right now. Let's get to 100k likes, y'all. Y'all are so need enough love for my fucking liking, okay? For all what a love at? Likes jump. Uh, what are double taps at? We're gonna go to move on to our next individual here, y'all. Everyone, just give us a moment to get them in here, guys. Uh, hey, what's going on, Limbo? Do you think that the Christian God is real? Yes, absolutely. All right, why so, man? Um, what do you know about witchcraft? Mm, <laughs> nothing. It's just I... as real. Yeah, so could you go ahead and tell me why you think the Christian God is real? Well, if you look at witchcraft, I live in Colombia, right? 
And we've had plenty of experiences here where witchcraft um, is run by the devil. So it's very hard to explain in, <laughs> in words. Okay, but I'm just going to go ahead and put it this way, man. I don't think that witchcraft is real. I don't think it exists. Um, but, like, we don't even need to talk about that because I could just simply grant you that witchcraft does exist. This doesn't necessitate that the Christian God, therefore, exists. So how do you know that specifically the Christian God exists? Because witchcraft is combated with Jesus Christ's name. Okay, and how do you know that to be true? Experiences um, we've had here... I can tell you a story if you like, if you have time. I don't about... have time. Oh my God. I don't. I don't. Um, so, Limbo. Uh, let's yeah, just... you see, that's why you lack humility. You lack... Humility? Uh, I don't want to hear about your fucking delusions, with all due respect. <laughs> Bro... Like, I'm just trying to be honest here. I'm just trying to be honest here. Hey, take it up with a therapist. Like, Yeah, for real. Ask. I just got a question, since you are a Christian and all. right? I, I'll, I'll be on the offense. Do you think that slavery has always been wrong? Uh, you think that truth is objective? Okay, so do we see how you're not answering my question? No, because like, um, it's interesting. You think, oh, I know what's good and what's wrong. And I see the Bible says ethnic cleansing. And oh my God. Why are it, you already presupposing his argument right now? You don't even know. It sounds so bad to hey, say. Hey man, I'm, I'm, I'm leading you through an internal critique. If you would mind answering my question, do you think that slavery as in owning humans as property for life and beating them is wrong? Do you think that it's always been wrong? Uh, yeah, I think slavery is wrong, but but you're missing the point where like truth doesn't care about your feelings. If truth is truth, it's truth. What and truth are you, you can't referring argue to? With truth. If truth is truth is truth, you can't argue with truth. A bunch of gibberish. So here's my refutation. You said that slavery has always been wrong. This is not very Christian of you. In Leviticus 25 verses 44 through 46, it is very clear. God says that the Israelites could own Bro, slaves. Bro, why do you have people on here if you don't want to listen? He's and still talking. No, I'm, I'm, li I'm listening to you, sir. You don't I'm just want to listen you... to experiences, real life experiences of Jesus Christ. You just want to come on here with your intellectual. Okay, so here I'm gonna. About, I'm gonna. Oh my God! I'm gonna limbo, look at the limbo. Bible and, and and nitpick little things. Oh my like, goodness! It's not nitpicking. And you don't want to freaking listen, dog. Limbo, limbo, limbo. Like genuinely, like simmer down, right? I'm gonna explain to you why we don't take like anecdotes as like evidence because one, we cannot prove that these things actually happened. Two, because it's your personal experience, we cannot account for any kind of biases. We cannot account that like what you've experienced is like actually what you've experienced and what other factors may have played into that. There's no way for us to confirm or deny any of these things. Your anecdotes are unfalsifiable. Then why do your, why are your uh, opinions on slavery? We don't have opinions uh, on these yeah. things, right? Yeah, we Be we yeah, have wait, opinions on these things slavery, according to the evidence. We wait, understand wait, I that gonna, slavery say, oh my God, we're not I have an opinion on slavery. So, so Limbo, I'm going to go ahead and, what did you just say? What did you just say? To, you just, what? Oh, Tashika, you're so beautiful. I love Thank you, you so much. Oh my god. Oh no. Why do you guys keep doing that? <laughs> it's, uh, can I don't find so it I'm just gonna go ahead and like go back to the argument. Listen, guys. Hey, you don't what, sir, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the argument here, right? So uh, essentially I'm just gonna go ahead and ask you again. Do you think that slavery has always been wrong? Yeah, slavery has always been wrong, dude. Okay, so yeah, this is this is not Christian of you, right? Because what we see in the context of Leviticus 25 is God tells us that slavery is okay. Like he literally says, you may buy slaves. And then it goes on to define a slave as a human that's owned his property for life, right? In the same way the U.S. experienced racial chattel slavery, in the context of ancient Israel, they experienced nationalistic chattel slavery because they could only own slaves if they were from foreign nations. Right? Very because you called this wrong, you'd, you're, you're essentially saying that God commanded something Very bad. intellectual, G very intellectual but spirituality doesn't come from the in intellect you're trying to like what? make sense of all these things with words dog you, you haven't experienced it g so like oh, wait, are you saying that a belief in god is not intellectual no you have to experience it dog like if wait, you don't wait, wait, wait so wait what do you say that like what do you particularly say that a belief in god is logical is what logical <laughs> Oh, a belief in God is certainly logical. Okay, so then if it's uh, logical, why can't we like ration it, right? Because that's essentially all I'm trying to do here, right? You made the claim that slavery has always been wrong. And if that is true, well, then God commanded something wrong. An all good God cannot command something wrong. So therefore, your God is not all good, which essentially just concedes on this notion of Christianity. You don't have the, the like, the thing is, we don't 
you may think something is wrong that God did, but you don't know in what context he did it. You don't know how so they you're saying there's certain you don't even times know where the universe was justified? created. Yeah, yeah, you yeah so you're essentially, you're essentially saying that maybe like there was good reason for it. Happens. You so don't so know Limbo, I, I, Limbo, Limbo, please like, stop you jiggering. Come up here and tell me you know about good and, and evil. You come on here and tell me you know so much about good and evil, G, you don't. Did God do something wrong when he commanded slavery to be okay? What? Did what, did God do something wrong when he said slavery was okay? Oh my God, dude, you're nitpicking things. You think you you're nitpicking what? I don't think you even know what that word, like what that phrase means. I don't I, think I, you know. I, yeah, I don't think he's following. Oh, Can you just you're such my question? a great companion to this guy. Hey, Limbo, Maybe. did God do something wrong when he said slavery is okay? <laughs> okay. Oh my it's, God, it's, it's so it's, funny, dude. It's, it's so funny because it's Airman like, 2.0 over here. Bro. You actually think you know right from wrong? I'm like, literally asking you, know you a question. Better, I'm not making a you statement. Don't know how the I'm asking speaking. you a question. Can You're you doubting God it? when you don't even know how this universe was created, bro. You don't even bro, know how bro, you're you. Bro, 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 Limbo, please stop dodging my question. Hey, man, I'm going to tell you once more before I just kick you. Did God do something wrong when he said slavery is okay? Bro, I already answered the question, but you don't no, want to keep going. you not. I already told you it's wrong. I think slavery is wrong. <laughs> Okay, so think, do you think God's all good? I don't, think, I don't think God said it in that context. I don't think... Can you provide really me any don't. reason to believe that? I gave you the specific scripture. I could read it out loud to you if you'd like. Go ahead, read it out loud. Yeah, so God, yeah. like, God commanded that you're, you're, uh, you're, you're, you know, you, you may own male and female slaves from the nation around you. From them you may buy slaves. You may also buy some of the temporary residents living amongst you and the members of their clan born in your country. All right? You may also bequeath them to your children as inherited property for life, and you may own them as property for life, but you must not rule over your fellow Israelites ruthlessly. Uh, then in Exodus 21, verses 20 through 21, right, uh, God essentially says, um, you know, that you could beat the slaves as long as they recover in a couple days because they were your property. So if you're going to say that, like, God was commanding something wrong here, which you did say, well, then your God couldn't be all good, right? This statement, God is all good and God commanded something bad are not compatible with one another. They're contradictory. And since we know contradictions can't be true, even in the sense of a creator, this means your notion of the Christian God can't be true. Why are contradictions true in, in quantum physics? They are not. They are not. They are. Name one. Wave and there's something about wave and particle being the fucking... You don't know what the fuck you're talking yeah, you, about. Yeah, you're bro. talking about the, yeah, but the fucking light wave, waves. That's not, yeah, there's no contradiction in that. About, but you don't know Wait, what let you're talking about. Us not understanding something is not a contradiction. Yeah, let me ask you a question. What is a contradiction? Dog, you're such a smart as you think you are. Bro, know. like, I just... Bro, like... What are the come first four here, books of the New Testament? You come on here acting all high and mighty, saying, Oh my god, I'm so prepared for this. Is it that easy? You know, what are the I first four exactly. books of the New Testament? First four books of the Fourth Testament. Dude, I don't care what the fucking first books of the Fourth Testament are. This is yeah, what your right. eternal soul depends on. You don't care? Yeah, for real. We're Whoa. just gonna go to move on to the next guest. That guy was lost. Uh, okay, at least Airman has lost. some dignity, you know. Like, yeah, for just, real. At least Airman like, has some dignity. Jesus. <laughs> What's up, Presley? How old are you? Um, I'm old enough. Um, what is your point? What are you trying? What, to prove? what year are you born in? What are you trying to prove? Girl, anybody scared hey. of you? What's your fucking age? Are you? Okay, I didn't say that you Horrible. were scared of me, but you're getting online talking about. Other like and, and did hey, hey, press, okay, hey, press, so I'm just I, asking I, I, I a make... fucking question. Can you what answer? Oh, where's the oh, that's the crazy hey, part. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Hey, hey Presley, I'm shut willing to have a conversation. Hey, Presley, I'm willing to have a conversation with you nice and like talk about these word. things. But like, according to TikTok TOS, you have to be at least 18 years old to be on TikTok Live. So I just want to like confirm your age. Yes, like, I'm 18. Good okay. job. Good job. Uh, awesome. Clap it so, up, chat. Yeah. So, so what do you want? Go for it. Stupid. I just want to know. I just want to know what you're like trying to prove like that the Christian God does not exist So you don't believe in God He no, cannot Presley. believe in God. You can't believe Why? in contradictions. Yeah, because I, I don't think that there's any evidence or reason to believe that the Christian so God does I, exist And then so I also think the Christian God would reduce to a contradiction. So I'm not gonna get on here and like um, Force my religion on you or here anything. you are though Okay, so I, I'm just trying to ask a question of why you don't believe in him. I'm he not just said it. Anything. Okay, 
Um, but I have. So, hey, Presley, what year were you born in? I just want to make sure that you actually are 18. Okay, I'm old enough. I'm literally. Oh my goodness. Okay, so it's spoken like a person who definitely isn't. Yeah, that was spoken like a true uh, fetus. You know what? Spoken like a true fetus. We're going to go ahead and move on to our next guest here, chat. For everyone coming in, y'all, welcome into the live. We're having some fun debates today about the existence of the Christian God. Uh, what's going on? Uh, you look old enough. Do you think that the Christian God is real? Um, yes, I do. Okay, why so? Um, well, um, how do you, I, I just want to see, like, as I'm not sure, like, like, your perspective on it. So first I wanted to ask you, like, are you atheist? I mean, I'm an agnostic, um, mm -hmm. but I definitely do think that the Christian God can exist. Okay, so do you believe uh, God does exist? No, I, I don't. So I'm going to be a, an agnostic, but I okay. definitely do believe that it is impossible for the Christian God to exist. Uh, but let's go ahead and talk about it. Why do you think that the Christian God exists? I, I think the Christian... Okay, so... Can I, can I share a little bit of my testimony, or do you just oh want, like... Uh, Barbara, with all due respect, I don't think your testimony would really do anything for us here. Like, for instance, okay. right, because you're a Christian, you have to hold to the view that Islam is false. But, I mean, millions of Muslims could probably self-report similar testimony to yourself, but it's not convincing to you and you still call it false. So I'm going to say the same thing about you and your testimony. It's not convincing for me and it gives me no reason to believe that the Christian God exists. Thank you for the marvelous. So if anything, we can use it against you. Basically, yeah, so, so basically, what in, okay, so you know, you know what a testimony is, right? Uh, yeah, some like some personal anecdotal experience in which you have had that. So that you know, means every supposed... personal experience that you have is false, then too, as well. No, 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 no. Oh, that is explicit. That because... that, no, it doesn't. I'm gonna explain to you what it means. Like I said to the other person before, um, like literally in no other context, especially that of like an academic setting, will you ever be able to use your personal experience in order to prove a point? They are unfalsifiable, right? If your personal experiences are going to be like your base form of evidence, they're Thank not gonna be able to prove anything, right? That that would make like schizophrenic people like true that would mean them seeing clowns in the corner of their eyes true like, and we understand that to not be the case you need out seeing clowns in the corner of their eyes. oh barbara you got a phone call go on pause real quick don't leave the live just like exit out of the tiktok app and go back into it you got an echo and that's the only way to pause fix it don't sorry, leave the live sorry. just like exit out of the mercy so go on pause barbara i am literally telling her what to do and she can't do it Okay, well, Why they... <laughs> it's all right. We're going to go to move on to our next individual, guys. If you want to support myself, my Venmo and my PayPal are in my bio, y'all, as well as Tashika, her Venmo and Cash App are in hers. Uh, what's going on? The Riz King, how old are you? Oh, no. Uh, first of all, that's a whole it... fetus. You're... No. Dear Lord. <laughs> We're going to go to move on to our next guest here, guys. Let's go to talk to Maggie, y'all. Keep in mind, we are just looking to talk to some Christians, ladies and gentlemen. We are just looking to talk to some Christians. <laughs> Hey, what's going on? Do you think that the Christian God is real? I 100% do. All right, why so? So I am actually, I classify myself as a Catholic, which is a sect of Christianity, which I believe is the original church. And there have been scientific proven experiments and things done in labs and stuff that cannot be refuted by science that prove that he is real. Like? Uh, for example, let's look at the heart of St. John Vianney, um, that he literally, when he passed away, he was um, incorruptible. Do you know what that means? Yep. And when they took his heart to a lab, they were able to prove that he had suffered the same wounds as Jesus, and there have been Eucharistic miracles and there there have been countless things that have been proven by science because the whole um basis of your thing from what i've been watching for a little bit is everyone really can't give their testimony which i agree with you know obviously every christian is going to have their own testimony but like you said it is a personal experience that we've experienced personally I have but, a question. you said that you said that this saint had the exact same wounds as jesus christ did uh who did jesus christ's autopsy mm -hmm. Well, it's literally been written in physical document. All of these things are survivable. Yeah. So uh, just to point it out there, you're basically talking about this naturally uh, mummified body of a saint. Uh, so we also see like naturally mummified bodies of like ancient Egyptians. Do you think that? This well, not mummified, not mummified, because he died. Preserved. We're talking about preservation. He died so in our natural, century. We're talking about the natural preservation of the body. 
Um, but hey, I see, I see Matt in the guest request. I bet Matt probably wants to touch on this before we go on to some other issues with the god. So I guess we'll go ahead and let that is not Matt. <laughs> so we're, we're going we're gonna to go ahead and let Matt up if he wants to touch on that real quick. I don't know. That's been happening to you too, right? I've been kicking Lydia from my lives all the time. Yeah. Hey, Matt, I'm, I'm guessing you had something to say about that. Just saw you in the guest request. Oh, uh, yeah, just real quick. I'll let you. Uh, it's only very quick. Um, she mentioned the lab, this uh, St. John, his heart was tested. There's one problem with that. She said it, that it matches uh, Jesus's wounds. Nowhere in the gospel does it say that Jesus's heart was pierced. It says his, his side was pierced. His heart was intact. I don't know. I don't, I don't know why you're testing his heart. Because the heart was not, in fact, damaged during. Because the only time in, in the entire gospel do we get a narration that Jesus was actually like stabbed is in John 19, and it said that his side was pierced, like uh, towards the liver area. So why are they testing his heart? Oh, so they were. It, it, that's a longer story that y'all don't have time for. But they were attempting to take his heart from France to America, and so they had to run tests on it to make sure that it could travel um, on airplane, that it would be okay to fly, so. Yes, yeah, so but that wasn't your claim. Your claim was that it had uh, the same wounds as Jesus, but nowhere in the gospel does it say that his heart was pierced. It said his side was pierced. His heart was intact. I don't know why they would test his heart for the wounds, because that's not found within John 19. Gagged, I fear. Thanks, Matt. I mean, I, I mean, okay, silence. So, okay. I, I think, I think you, I think you made <laughs> I your think fucking I point. Okay. Uh, uh -oh. okay. Team right, malfunctions. Adios. Well. All right, Maggie. So it seems like Matt kind of gagged you there. I'll go ahead and gag you again. Do you think <laughs> that ethnic cleansing has always been wrong? Well, I've, I've already heard this one. Sorry. Double gag. I was, I was trying to prevent my toddler from eating himself off of something. Um, so I heard this one. Yes, I do think it's wrong. But from the scripture that you're reading, if you go, because most of your stuff has been focused on the Old Testament. And as a Christian, we can all agree that the Old Testament did seem to be quite barbaric, right? But you as hold to the Old Testament, though. Uh, no, as Christians, yes, as Christians, we don't question God, first of all. And so we hold to the New Testament, right? That God is omnipotent, yes, but God is three persons, Jesus, and that, you think that Jesus the God of the Old came, Testament is your God. Yes, and that when Jesus Do you hold came, to the Ten Commandments. Yes, I believe in the Ten Commandments. Uh, where Jesus, Jesus came, and he said X Y Z, which I'm not going to quote everything, but he came and he told us that. I am here to explain exactly what you need to follow, that those things are barbaric, that we don't need to follow Where those things anymore. The whole, the whole New Testament in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, in the four Gospels, when you go through the readings of Jesus, you can see where he says, like, for example, when they were stoning um, the um, prostitute. This is really, that, like, really just drawing far off uh, the point here. Right, I'll, I'll just go ahead and make the point, right? Uh, bringing in the New Testament is really like irrelevant to this argument. So I'll just go ahead and ask you again. Maybe you could offer me a more concise answer. Uh, do you think that ethnic cleansing is always wrong? Of course. Okay, so then you think God did something wrong when he commanded ethnic cleansing on the Amalekites in 1 Samuel 15, 3. He literally tells Saul to grab his men and unalive every man, woman, infant, suckling, ox, and sheep in the context of the Amalekites. And did that actually happen? Yes. Yeah. Are you kidding me? So then, so then, so, because, okay, sorry. I'm trying to compose my thoughts. We, we can go backwards, which, right, you told me, you told me um, that it doesn't work, but it does. Because, like I explained to you, I do believe that in the Old Testament, he was barbaric. So nowadays... I'm, I'm, I'm asking you if God did something wrong by commanding the ethnic cleansing then. No, he didn't. Okay, so you don't think that ethnic cleansing is always...